Today we're going to be performing phlebotomy with a straight needle on a live patient. The most important part of any procedure is making sure that you have the appropriate equipment before you begin. So today we have gathered our equipment and set it out. Uh, we will use non-sterile gloves. We will use a tourniquet to apply to the patient's arm in order to engorge the vein. We will use a 2x2 two two piece of gauze. We'll use an alcohol swab to cleanse the area. We will be drawing a CBC, which in this case is a lavender vacutainer. We'll be using a plastic hub to attach to our venipuncture needle. So, um, we also are going to be using Coban today instead of a Band-Aid because our patient has sensitive skin and Band-Aids sometimes irritate people's skin. So Coban is another option. Uh, so I'm going to wash my hands as I would before any procedure. Then I'm going to down my gloves. I am actually going to connect the needle to the hub before we begin. You can see this um, attaches right here. It screws in. And be careful because this this is rubber on the outside, but underneath is a, a sharp needle that actually um, pokes right into the, the vacutainer and breaks the seal on this. So be careful because if you push hard enough on this, you can hurt yourself, stick yourself. So we're going to attach that, and then our needle is underneath here, so when we're ready to perform the procedure, we'll just remove this. I usually like to kind of um, put the vacutainer gently inside here for now. Just got everything ready. And I'm going to open up my alcohol swab here. Set that aside. And now I think we're ready for our patient. So we will have our patient um, place the arm on the uh, sterile area here. And we'll uh, explain the procedure to the patient. Today we're going to be performing phlebotomy. Um, have you ever had phlebotomy before? Yes. Okay. Do you know of any good veins? Yes. Where are they? Are they in your antecubital area here? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to apply my tourniquet, and I want to make sure that I can get it off quickly. So what I'm going to do, instead of tying a knot, I'm going to cross it and just tuck a little corner underneath so that when I'm done, I can pull this off very quickly. Okay. So now I'm going to have my patient... Um, make a fist with his hand so I can kind of see which veins are going to be good. It's very important to palpate. All right, I think we're going to try this one right here. Okay, I'm going to cleanse the area. You can see I'm cleansing in a circular fashion. We'll let that dry. Sometimes the alcohol can sting a little bit if you poke the patient while it's still wet. Okay, I'm going to remove my cap from the needle. I'm going to pull traction, and we're going to begin the procedure. So you're going to feel a poke, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, with straight needle, you don't get a flashback, so you just have to assume that you're in. And we are. So you can see the blood automatically begins filling this. We want to fill about three quarters of a tube to the entire tube. If we had additional vacutainer tubes, we could pop them on. However, we do not. So I'm going to remove the tourniquet now. I'm going to pop my vacutainer off. Invert the, t the tube. And pull the needle out while applying pressure to stop the bleeding. This is a retraction needle, so what we can do is um, clamp this. So now we'll place this in the sharps. And I'm going to get my coban ready, so I'm going to ask the patient to gently hold pressure for just a second. Okay, got a pre-cut piece here, so you can let go. Thank you very much. And I'm going to wrap this around. So Coban, if you've never used it before, it's kind of like an ace wrap, but it's a little bit sticky. Um, so it sticks to itself without having to use any additional um, metal pieces or anything like that. All right.
So once you're done with the procedure, again, you want to invert your tube, label the blood, send it to the laboratory, and always clean up your area. We'll thank the patient.